All right, now that we've got our receiver tore apart, we'll take, looks like we've got a pin in here that goes through to hold in our um, firing pin stop. We'll just drive that out. Again, these things have been put together for a long time, so they're not wanting to come out very easily. So, I just have to give it a little gentle persuasion. Alright, now we have that pin out. That should allow us to remove this piece right here that should be our I'm assuming this is a firing pin stop set it to the side and you've got a little spring inside here we don't want to lose that now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the left hand extractor looks like we've got a pin right here we're going to drive through get out my 1 16th inch punch this is one of the things I wanted to address on this is because these uh, extractor springs is kind of weak on these. Um, I may have to do actually a little bit more shaping on that one to get more bite. Uh, I did notice when I was shooting some of the low brass Winchester shells, um, they did not want to, the ejectors did not want to grab a hold of the case head and pull them out. So we'll go ahead and take this one out. Pretty easy to do. Just taps right out. And then with that out, we should be able to just pull our extractor straight out, our lift extractor. And then we have a spring that is in there as well. We need to get that out without damaging or bending it. So now we have that out. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, remove our firing pin and um, spring system in here. Um, I've already started driving it out, but basically you just drive this pin straight out. It's out. And then we should be able to, when we pull our punch out, We should be able to push our firing pin straight up back. Uh, there's part of the um, another piece I'll have to notate. I don't know exactly what the name of that piece is. Now the next one we've got to do is the right extractor and this basically just has a plunger and a screw that we have to compress and remove this out and then let the plunger and screw come out the front all right now that we've got the extractor uh, the right hand extractor pulled out i'll show you basically what i did is i took a small punch and placed it up under here to press out on it and then i took my shaping spoon and press the detent back and one thing you'll notice once you get it up is you can rotate it around slightly and that'll pull it up out of the groove where the detent can no longer engage it and I just turned it completely all the way around grabbed a hold of it with her needle nose and then pulled it out so there's our extractor and inside there we have a spring and a plunger the only thing we have not got out yet is our firing pin. All right, guys, we're going to show you how to take apart, take the firing pin and spring out of this thing. Um, you'll be able to see it now since I've actually taken it out. But before, this was blended in and you couldn't even see it. But basically, you've just got a one pin you push through. Get 
get started. Get our longer punch. And it just drives straight out. You have your firing pin retainer pin. Then you actually have your firing pin, big beefy firing pin. And then you should have your firing pin spring. And that's the entire rest of the bolt taken apart.